Hi all, this is Akshay Bhagwat from the Technicals and Derivatives Desk from GM Financial Services. Welcome to the market outlook for the August edition of Horizon Video Z. So as we speak today, Nifty closed at 24,836. It was a roaring start for the August series. You won't believe it was 700 points which the index covered in just a couple of trading sessions from the base of 24,200 lows. So a very interesting beginning for the month of August. And if you were to look at the seasonality trends as to how August behaves, if you look at August 2021, we had an upside of around 5.4%. August 2022 plus 3.5% and August 2023 minus 2.1%. So traditionally, just going with the last three years of seasonality pattern, August month is broadly known for positive market moves. Well, a major chunk of this move has already happened in just a couple of days for the August series as we begin the August month. If you look at the rollovers on the derivative front, the rollovers for the August month stood at around 70% versus the historical three-month average readings of 71%. The July rollovers was at around 76%. So roughly the sense is that majority of the long bets from the prior month have been rolled over to the August series. So that's a positive sign. Now what are the various participants doing in the market? Here we specifically look at two types of market participants. One is the foreign institutional investors and second is the clients or the retail investors. Well, uh, you will be surprised to know that uh, there has been some trimming of long bets from the FIIs as we start over the August month. From the high of around 83%, which uh, the July series had started off, the August series in the futures and options segment in the index futures has started off at around 60% roughly. So you can say that FIIs have trimmed or booked out their long bets majorly by the end of the July series expiry. So that's a bit of a caution which one needs to have at the back of the mind. Even if you look at the positioning of the retail clients, that, that it is not that good. Overall, the retail clients positioning in the index future segment hints that uh, there is around 46% uh, positioning of long bets. So really, uh, what's driving the markets at this given point because uh, we are not long heavy as the readings go right now. The stock specific action is something which one should look at because here if you look at the clients positioning in the stock future segment it is almost at around 87 percent that's a significant number considering the long bets which are positioned in the stock future segment and that comes from the clients. FIIs to the contrary are roughly positioned around 59% longs in the stock future segment. So there is a fair chunk of long bets in the stock segment which is driving up the market as per the data reading. And even if one were to look at as to how the cash market positioning is, broadly you can say that uh, in the last couple of months there has definitely been a good improvement in the buying numbers in the cash segment. So if uh, I were to look at the numbers in the cash market, roughly uh, you can look at the July series, uh, which uh, in the cash market, July month rather, had a buying of around 16,945 crores. The June month had buying of around 2,037 crores, whereas May and April month were the months which did see significant bit of selling in the cash market from the FI front. So the numbers definitely are improving in the cash segment from the FIIP point of view, but will they sustain is the big question as we head into the August month. Now moving ahead as to how the uh, positioning is in the derivative space. Now uh, if you look at uh, the broader derivatives market, the options data today suggests price range of 24,500 which is uh, roughly the lower end of the range and the upper end of the range is uh, roughly around 25,300. So this is some range which the short term traders are working with based on the option pricing of the weekly expiries. But if I look at the broader monthly expiry, August month one needs to 
note that it is a long expiry in terms of the number of active trading days your expiry here is on 29th of august so obviously you know the premiums are not going to depreciate so soon so fast so 24000 that's the extreme end of the lower end of the range and 25500 that's the extreme end of the band and these are the strikes 24000 in put and 25500 in calls are the strikes which have a major chunk of writing bets for the month of august so that's the range which one should work with if one is an option writer now the oipcr which is open interest the number of puts divided by the number of calls in the system is 1.4 so clearly it means that there is an excess of puts in the system now really this is more of put writing this is not buying this is writing and i'm attributing it to writing considering the fact that the volatility index has cooled off significantly at the levels of 12.95 so the writers where are they exactly positioned 24,000 and 24,500. These are the two strikes and puts which draw a major chunk of put writing bets. So as a short term trader, 24,500 is the most key level you need to keep a note on because a lot of put writing positions have been set up in the weekly expiry, in the monthly expiry at this particular strike and that defines the main support base as we head into the month of August. Now uh, moving on to the technical parameters here. Now technically if you look at the broader structure of the Nifty, it's a very firm healthy technical uptrend which I see. The only problem if you are a short term trader is that the trading parameters are, are flashing overbought signs. So that's a slight concern. But on the other end, we are in a very fast paced momentum market. One should not ignore the fact that the momentum readings might be above the overbought zone, but this phase can continue for the next few days because momentum will see that the buyers draw interest at every possible dip in the market. So one thing which uh, level wise traders need to look at is the level of uh, 25100 that's an important resistance zone that has not been uh, defined as yet it is uncharted but i'm expecting that that may might hold some bit of uh, resilience as we move ahead and on the upside 25450 is the second resistance one need to work with on the support front as i mentioned 24500 is the most important number from a short term trading perspective and the key trend decider for the month of august is the level of 24200 so till 24200 holds all is well there is no reason to be concerned in case the prices do sustain below this levels on some factor or the other that's the first red flag in the system that there might be possible short-term profit booking and when these levels break then you need to revisit and see what's happening in the market till then all is well the markets are on a strong footing now some of the key moving averages which one need to note down here because they define the trend of the market. So I work with short term moving averages here that is the 9 day moving average which is placed at 24600 the 21 day moving average which is placed at 24400 and lastly the 50 day moving average which is placed at 23800 so these are the three set of numbers which you need to draw for yourselves so accordingly plan your trades for the month of august if you are a very short term trader the 9 day moving average is applicable to you for a trader with a slight one week to 10 day horizon look at the number of 24400 and if it is a slightly monthly trader then the 23800 moving average support 50 day moving average support comes into play now once uh, we are clear on the view of the index which is positive till it is about 24 200 and i have also defined you what might be the possible upside targets for the month we look at the sector specific action well it's uh, green all over the market it's been a strong sector churn as i understand going by the entire liquidity scenario which is in the market and sectors one after the another are performing at their best now majority of the sectors have moved up and from here what will be the next sector which one needs to look forward to if you are a momentum player then pharma 
and reality sector are the two sectors to be in if you are a short term momentum player for the month of august the overall technical as well as the derivative placement of long bets in majority of the names in both of the sectors signal a good short term upside momentum rally so keep a watch for pharma and reality second if you are slightly uh, looking for a wait and uh, earn kind of a game where you are not interested really to capture momentum but you need bets which will be safe and sound in the august month then metals the pac and the auto these are the three sectors which one can look forward to so this will be buy add on dips kind of a strategy in this sector because the broader placement of these three sectoral components are on a very firm ground and they show healthy promise as we move ahead into the month of august uh, some of the sectors which are overbought which have had their fair share of run uh, in the last couple of months and which might be the ones which would witness some round of profit booking if the, there is any kind of a scare in the market these would be it and private banks so have your stop losses revised trail your stop losses in it and private banks because really they are heavily overbought and the slightest jerk of any kind which you notice in the market these are the couple of sectors which might bore the brunt of selling pressure in case you have events unfolding now the key events that's uh, a must which a trader should have in his diary and there are a couple of uh, events which are lined up for the month of august one is the fomc meet on 31st of july the second is the rbi policy on 8th of august the third would be fno regulations now when i say fno regulations this is not in but the there is a lot of gray point doing rounds that uh, sebi might curb trading in the option segment now really this is more of a grapevine news we are really not sure when and where would be it would happen but definitely the sebi has given its intention that it is keen to apply breaks in some sort of uh, regulating the kind of uh, speculation which they believe should reduce in the option segment in the uh, indices so in case there is any such news factor in august then it might uh, see a temporary jerk in the market fourth would be the remaining q1 fy2025 results majority of the companies have declared their numbers some are due so keep a close watch on the stocks and sectors where the their results are due this may have an impact on your portfolio holding for the month of august and lastly global macros these are events which are actually you cannot predict them but uh, you know in case uh, there is some adverse reaction you should be prepared as to what your claim game plan should be in case uh, you know there it, the market does not take it well uh lastly uh, just to sum up my entire discussion uh, the view is positive uh, but somewhere i believe uh, markets are overbought so the strategy if one wants to uh, have uh, uh, the view for the august month take it step by step take it on a weekly basis but re because really things are heavily overbought at the current levels uh resistance and the targets is where i have uh, mentioned in my prior comments 24 200 is where you trail your stops in case the market does get below these levels that's the first time you need to seriously reconsider booking out short term gains or profits or revise your stops uh, it's it's a completely momentum based markets there is a uh, there is a serious sectoral churn which is happening in the very short time frame so be positioned in the right kind of sector where the momentum is and for that uh, you will get a lot of uh, recommendations from our technicals and derivatives desk uh, be uh, posted and follow them uh, i think that should be the proper guide for the month of august uh, with that uh, i would uh, conclude the market out look thanks for uh, your time and have a great august month investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing